We are following developing news tonight about a hack targeting a government website. The Obama administration has confirmed that healthcare.gov was breached. Well, the good news is your information was not taken. Roz Plater live in Southwest Washington. So, Roz, what did the hackers do? Well, they broke in and immediately went fishing for personal information, names, birth dates, social security numbers, financial information. The only reason they didn't get that information, the feds say, is because the site they landed on was a test site. The feds say it doesn't appear the hackers were specifically targeting healthcare.gov, but may have stumbled onto it as they were searching numerous government sites looking for potential weaknesses. And they well, found one, a testing site that did not have a firewall. The hackers installed malicious software that could have been used to launch an attack on other websites from the federal insurance program. It all went down back on July 8th, but wasn't discovered until last week when technicians found it as they manually scanned logs. It is just the latest snag for the website, which was plagued with technical glitches when it launched last fall. The site is an online gateway to President Obama's health care overhaul critics call Obamacare. Subsidized private health insurance for more than 5 million Americans in 36 states who don't have access to a health plan on the job. The congressman who held hearings on the website problems last year, Republican Joe Pitts of Pennsylvania, said in a statement, quote, Sadly, the news that healthcare.gov has been hacked does not come as a surprise. Now, multiple law enforcement agencies will be investigating this security breach. It comes just as open enrollment is set to start November 15th. Live on Capitol Hill, I'm Roz Plater, ABC 7 News. Roz, thank you. 